Next on Midwife Helen's Round is another woman in coronary care. Alison is 35. She's pregnant with her third child. Two weeks ago, I thought I had a cold, saw nothing of it, a bit worn out, thinking I was just like constant flu, and to find out that it was obviously a lot more serious than that. 29 weeks pregnant, Alison was rushed into hospital with pneumonia and chest pains. Alison has a rheumatoid heart disease, um, which is a disease of the valves in the heart. This is about as serious as it gets with structural heart disease and pregnancy. Um, the condition that Alison has is very complicated and very advanced, and women die of this in pregnancy. Until this pregnancy, Alison's heart problems hadn't been detected. So it's something she's had for a very long time, just that it, the degree of heart disease wasn't as bad when she was younger. So she got away with her first two pregnancies without any problems. Now that it's got a bit worse, as is the natural history of this condition, she's just got to the point where her body doesn't have reserves left to take her through this pregnancy in good health. For the last three weeks, the doctors have been trying to stabilize Alison's heart condition. She has another month to go to get to full term. Knock, knock. Hi, Alison. Hi. How are we doing? I feel good today. Don't you? In what way? I took some blood today. Take it so. Oh, did they? Baby. The team have got together in the last couple of days, the cardiologists, the obstetricians, and the plan is to deliver Alison's baby by cesarean section on Tuesday morning. I think she was hoping maybe she would just have this one naturally, but, you know, I'm sure she understands that this is probably the best, best option for her. Good morning, Alison. Hi. How are you this morning? Not too bad. I just can't wait to see her now. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to seeing her. Well, because you've been in for six weeks, you know. And how do you feel about having a caesarean this time? Because I know... I said, it's like, I'm not 100% happy. I was hoping to have the epidural, but they said this is far too risky. So they said it's going to have to be a C-section, which is a lot safer option. Yeah, I mean, I'll probably come to theatre with you on I, Tuesday, cos I'm working. And I'll be bringing the baby over to see you. And you can have her on your chest for the whole of the time the operation's going on. But then, because you're probably going to go back to cardiac intensive care, yeah. aren't you? That's the plan. Yeah, that's... Because you're going to go back there afterwards, they wouldn't be able to have the baby there with you. Right. So baby will go into the nursery in special care. But, you know, you will definitely see her the minute she's born and you will hold her as soon as possible. So yeah, I will sort that would that be out. nice, just so I can... I mean, she's bound to be anxious. I think anybody would be anxious. So, you know, she's obviously um, doubly anxious about the problems she's got. But, um, no, I, I was quite happy with her today. I think she's, she fully understands everything that's going on. And, no, I, I think she's quite looking forward to it, really, to seeing her baby. It's the day of Alison's C-section. If you can sign your consent on there, yeah. I mean. The cesarean section itself is a, is a fairly straightforward operation. The risks for Alison are all related to her heart. We have to be very careful with her anaesthetic, so there is that potential for tipping her into heart failure just by virtue of the anaesthetic itself. Um, when she delivers her baby, there's quite significant changes in the circulation and that could push her into heart failure. So, yeah, the potential for risk is, is very high. Alison's partner, Paul, will be allowed into theatre to support her. This is really scaring me, you know, cause I, it's, to see one have an operation. I've never seen an operation before, you know. I mean, it's like, it doesn't hit me until now, until the day. I mean, I am strong for you and I, but sometimes I do, like, break down and... I mean, I feel a bit now, you know, but... Yeah. 
Listen, my dear, I need you to calm down and relax. You'll be fine, okay? Try not to jump. I know it's easier said than done, but just. I'm trying. You want I'm me. Don't know. I'm trying. 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 I'm trying.
Right at the end, her heart rate became very fast, so we got her reviewed by the cardiac anaesthetist. She seems very happy with Alison, so we were able to transfer her to coronary care, where she's going to stay probably for a couple of days. I mean, it's obviously a stressful time for Alison and Paul, and they did both need support, so I think between us, Tatiana and I managed to keep everything calm, and I think they were pleased with the outcome. This is it now. This is it. After 48 hours in coronary care, Alison is well enough to be reunited with her baby. And your daughter? Yeah. Want to be parted again, eh? Oh, I know, my darling. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, oh. oh my baby. Oh, it's in balance. my baby. Oh, my sweet In a few days, Alison will be allowed to go home with her family to return for a heart operation in three months' time. <laughs>